This is a Watts 009 backflow preventer. And everyone's heard that that's got one that's gone bad. So today we're going to try and resolve that problem and that is we're going to change the number one check and we're going to go ahead and change the number two check too just because we have it open. We've got the two quarter turn ball valves turned off and we're taking out the two stainless steel bolts there. Inspected the relief and it looks good. There's a slight, slight little dimple in that but the diaphragm's good. Everything's pliable and uh, I think we're going to go ahead and let that go at that. Okay, we got to get this plastic cage out and if it doesn't just slide right out like this does, just crack open the second ball valve just a little bit to relieve the pressure and push in the number two check and it should slide right out. Inspect your seat. Make sure that's clean and smooth. And then you're going to have to pull out the checks with our, which are the plastic cylinders inside here and you might need a screwdriver pry with but uh, chances are they're stuck in there pretty good so pull, pull those two out there's a little tab here that you can put a screwdriver on and then there's a little cage that you can grab a hold of it with and they should both come out okay they both came right out I just used my thumbnail and just pulled the number two out and this was in that way and I was able to just pick at it and it just slid out so they're in there pretty easily and uh, they're old so we're not going to even mess around with trying to clean them but if you want to give it a shot you can pull the o-ring off and put a screwdriver in the slot and turn it and this cap will pop off and then you'll have access to the seat and the gasket in this case this gasket is like chewing gum it's just putty in your hand it's of no value whatsoever so this one's a little better but uh, they're both the same age so we're gonna change them both out when you order these you know they're gonna come possibly a different color make sure that you got the one with the stiffest spring as your number one check and it'll say number one and number two on the package but if you get them opened and get them confused make sure the stiffer spring is number one also when you're looking at images online Number two is going to look funny. It won't look the same sometimes. Sometimes you'll get lucky. It'll you'll have you'll find a source that looks right. But almost every source I've seen, they're showing a larger check. Zero zero nine watts backflow preventer is multiple sizes, and the larger one is an open cage with a little taper to it. But when you order them, as long as you've ordered the right one, this is a half inch. When it comes, it'll be right, even if it's the wrong color. Get yourself some non-toxic grease for like faucets or what have you and lube up all your o-rings and your shafts that slide in o-rings and then the o-ring on the outside of the uh, checks. Get those just lightly lubed up so that everything slides in and out and if you ever have to pull it out again you're, you're going to be happy that you have a little bit of silicone grease or some food grade grease on there. Hey, when you put them back in make sure you got them in the right direction. This is the number one, that's the number two. So all you'll see is the tip of this and, the, and this hanging out of the inside of the backflow preventer. Okay, we've got it changed out and as you can see there's no chatter, both ball valves are open. So make sure when you put the o-ring, the new o-ring on the lid that you don't get it hung up in one of the side holes. Yeah. Push it all the way up in there and it'll be